all right you guys i have to stand quite far back and scream at my camera so you guys can actually hear what's going on but today i'm gonna do a little bit of a chaotic video because i'm trying on all my house of cb dresses i'm gonna talk about whether it still fits how i like it do i think it was worth the price point and anything else that comes to mind this is gonna get this is gonna be a lot i know i can feel it i'm already sweating but i figured why not you guys might be interested in seeing the stuff that i've got okay so here is the first dress i'm gonna i'm gonna showcase to you guys if you follow my channel you probably have seen this i basically did a video where i styled this in about 19 20 different ways and it's honestly one of my favorite favorite dresses from house of cb i just love how it fits i got this in a medium okay house of cb i can fit into a small depending on how it's made but more often than not i usually buy a medium i think i've only got one where i sized up to a large but we'll get onto that so this is how it fits i love the corseting on this house of cb knows what they're doing with their corsets they just know it they make it super like authentic to a corset nice boning good structure and it maintains the shape i love this little asymmetric design and of course i'm in love with the color this tiffany's blue will forever have my heart i also quite like how it's almost a line because of these details at the side um this dress is still actually available so i'll link it down below in case you're interested it is a little short so girls if you've got a little bit of bum a bit of booty just be careful i can style it up and down which is why it's really one of my favorite ones and honestly because of the versatility that i've been able to get from it it is worth the price point i think i paid 159 pounds all of these dresses are at least i think at least 150 pounds plus so just know when you're buying from house cb you are investing in your wardrobe but this one is definitely one that i got my cost per wear of and my investment capital back so really love this dress and uh let's get on to the next one this is truly one of my favorite ones i mean i'm going to say that about a lot of these pieces because i decluttered a lot of my house cb dresses so the almost everything that i still have left is a favorite so just expect that word a lot i just love this long flowy situation the uh detailing is actually really nice it is see-through <laughs> by the way it is see-through that so maybe be careful if you want to wear it for a wedding because you'll see right through um, I just make sure that I wear brown skin tone knickers or little hot pants that are also dark if I just want to keep myself back covered up. I've worn this a few times. I've taken, I always take it on holiday with me because I just, the, I love the flow. I love the flow of it all. So when it's nice and hot and you can just feel the flow between your legs, you know, as you're striding along, that's what I really like. So I, I always travel with it. I don't really wear it here in the UK, even when it's hot. I just don't it's not the vibe you know what i mean it's just not the vibe but i love it this is truly probably one of my best purchases i think from house fit cv really like it it's got the corset it's not actually a traditional corset i'm kidding it's like it's made as if it is a corset because when they released this dress they actually had a match a top as well which is basically just the top version of this without the skirt and i almost got that i almost did but I figured i'd just get the dress the material is a little scratchy so especially like here when you're walking it is a little scratchy but i just i firm it because it's such a pretty dress and i just love how it fits on me so yeah that's this dress love it definitely worth the purchase this was 189 pounds and i got 15 percent off when they were doing one of their site um site discount codes so if you follow them on instagram that's usually where you're going to see if they've got a discount code on their website but it was pricey i got a little bit of discount but i love it nevertheless i would definitely definitely repurchase this if i had to all right so we have this next dress on honestly i almost used the f word again favorite uh i love this i love this i fell in love with this because i saw maya jama uh, in, a, in this dress and i was like obsessed okay and as soon as i saw it i went straight onto the website and purchased now this is in a medium and every so often i fight with it to get past my bum <laughs> today's one of those days i think it's just because it's quite hot um when i got this i was a little bit smaller so it really kind of fit like a glove and actually the top bit was very uh, not very loose but was quite loose at the time because i was smaller now i'm a little bit bigger so it's like i'm filling it out like i'm 
filling it out but i really really like it my plan was actually to get it tailored or altered a little bit so that the sleeves didn't fall too much but i don't think it's that bad i don't think so this is one of those dresses if you shop at house of cb you know the struggle but this is one of those dresses that it's really hard to get all the way to the top by yourself if you're by yourself to do the zip all the way up to the top so just keep that well no i can't <laughs> i definitely need somebody to help me um so it's not done all the way to the top top but even if it was this would still droop a little bit so that was my plan but it's not it's not terrible i think the next time i have an event i will make sure i can get it like just a little bit altered but otherwise i like how it fits now because before when i was smaller it didn't quite fit as hugging as it does now so really love this dress and it's just so different it's so different these sleeves everything to me but yeah this is such a nice dress i love this for formal events i've actually worn it five times in total since getting it which i think is pretty good for a dress like this um because you do need an event you know a specific type of event to be able to wear this like a wedding i actually wore it to a gala as well which was just with some black tights and i had black hair and everything this was definitely worth the price this one was on the expensive side i think 189 somewhere there but worth it worth it okay 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 when this dress came out uh i lost my head because I had never seen at that point anything so pretty. This is giving damsel. You know damsel, princess? Ugh! And also, I'm a pink girl through and through. This pink is my life. So, I didn't even think about it. I just went straight to the site, clicked on medium, added to cart, checked out. The whole process maybe took five seconds. Because I was just like, I love this dress. And I still love this dress. This was probably, I think... 150 160 pounds and i later was like that's pretty pricey for a mini dress <laughs> pretty pricey but it's made really well i mean has a cb has the quality i mean that's the point of the whole price tag and i love the detailing of it so first of all you've got these cutouts at the side now these basically show thigh and if you bend a little bit they can also show a little bit more so you just have to be careful with that where your neck is really high up <laughs> if you want to avoid them being shown here or don't really up to you sis um and i just love the cutouts now you can actually tighten the holes so that they're not so big and it ends up kind of looking like this and then this area here gets a little bit tighter and a little bit shorter so depending on your dimensions if you are you know slimmer on the thighs if you're taller whatever you can really play around with it to get the fit and the length that you want which is what i really appreciated i mean in all honesty this is a mini dress <laughs> this is a mini mini dress it's not covering up much especially from the back so if you have bum it's going to be mini forget about it that's just what you're living with so <laughs> this is one of those dresses you're not going to pick anything up from the ground that's not what you're doing somebody else is going to have to do it for you because this is way too short for that so that's the bottom part i love the color love the duh, duh, duh. all the features i really like and i love this neckline too because i'm a small booby girl so it kind of gives me the effect that i have a little bit of cleavage and i really appreciate that i love the string detailing as well how to see the at least the dresses that i have some of them have this like string detailing and i really really like it now the one thing that i don't like about this dress is the fact that the sleeves were actually made to be really tight i'm not even wearing them <laughs> right now as sleeves because they're just too tight they don't go up I will show you in the clip now they did since release like different colors of this dress and the sleeves have a little bit more space in the other ones so for the most part i actually wear this dress with the sleeves tied up at the back as you well I can't see my hair anyway but just tied up like this because most of the time my hair is long so it will hide the back anyway and if i have somebody to ribbon the back i can make it look nice and pretty and then that way i don't Feel too uncomfortable because i did try and get it tailored so that i could actually fit into the sleeves but we didn't have enough material to stretch it enough so the lady was like she didn't want to destroy the dress um for that so we just worked around it so i really like it honestly if i had to live with it like this without the sleeves i'd be fine because i have the other two versions as well so this dress captured my heart this is literally my perfect valentine's day dress i'll also point out in case they kind of bring out more of these 
this is very delicate material you do not want to get any kind of oils on it any kind of perfume i mean all my house cd dresses for the most part are dry clean <laughs> they are dry clean no one's putting any of these in the washing machine but this one in particular super sensitive i accidentally got body oil on it when i was changing into it and it basically stained i had to take it to the dry cleaners and they had to really i take it to the dry cleaners of course but they really had to go in on it and the lady even asked me what the hell did you use i was like it was just body oil but we did eventually get it um lifted so that's fine but just be very careful if you get a dress like this with this kind of material with any oils even perfumes yeah this is a dress where you spray the perfume in the air and you walk okay because if you get it on the dress it's going to take a long time to dry and it might stay so don't do that don't do that but this dress i think i'll just leave it in my collection forever it doesn't matter i'll probably turn it into curtains or pillows or just something if i couldn't wear it anymore but i don't think i'll ever get rid of it so really love this definitely worth the price point for me all right here we go hopefully you guys can see me if i'm not in complete focus please please excuse that <laughs> playing around with the settings on my camera so that you can see me a bit better but if it's a bit blurry i'm sorry anyway i have on the next dress which is basically a green version of the pink one and yeah you you can guess what i'm gonna say right i love it i love it now what they did with this release is that they improved on the sleeves so as you can see i can actually get the sleeves all the way up so the pink one is supposed to look like this as well with the sleeves all the way up which gives it an even more cute effect so honestly if they were to bring the pink back with the sleeves like fitting right i'd probably buy the pink one again that's how much i love the dress so this is what it's supposed to look like properly and i just love it in the green as well i actually took this on holiday to the maldives and i just loved i love this i really love this lime green color it just does something to me <laughs> for me i don't know and i really love it in this dress format so same specs as before but what i've done this time around with the string detailing on the neck is kind of wrapped it around just to give the neckline something different because we've got the sleeves up as well so we get this like boxy effect that's just doing different things a little bit of cleavage as well and they've got this little um they've got some string on the cup area because i believe you can get this dress in different cup sizes so you can get it from cup a to b or c which is what i've got and then you know b or c up basically um so if you're a big booby, booby girl you can get a small with a bigger bust you know that kind of thing etc etc but also what's really good about it is that they've got this string detailing here at the top which means that you can actually tighten this area however you need to however you need to you know the thought process behind this dress is actually just so neat and i think for that alone it's worth the price tag and i also failed to mention that they are double lined as dresses so the inside is mesh as you can see here so it's not completely see-through right but <laughs> but you know what i mean but you know what I mean? you can kind of see if you want to see you can see and also i did tighten up the cutouts at the side which made the dress shorter so if you want it to be a little bit more flirty you can do that makes it quite short at the back as well so just keep that in mind but yeah super cute dress love this in the green this is definitely staying in my wardrobe this one's definitely worth the 150 160 price tag because of the sheer fact that they've actually improved on the details from the previous one i actually haven't worn this one out as much as i would want to because i like to wear it on holiday because of the bright color uh, and i don't really go clubbing here in the uk so i rarely get to wear these like going out dresses that 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 much so it hasn't really gotten the cost per wear just yet but i don't plan on getting rid of it so it's going to sit in my collection for a while and essentially just <laughs> earn its keeps that way so i really love this dress and let me get on the next one right we have the orange one on we have the orange one on. i actually did a haul when i purchased all three of these type of dresses and i was trying to figure out uh, which one i would keep because in my mind at that time i was like i'm only gonna keep one i'm only gonna keep one i kept all of them so this is what the orange one looks like and what i really like about this is that it's not actually orange orange it's more like a tangerine so it's like yellow going into orange if that makes sense and we all know we all know that orange on brown skin bangs anyway so this is a favorite now i wore this 
in Jamaica, I believe, when we were going out for dinner. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, girls. 10 out of 10. I love these bell sleeves. There's just something about like when your palms are a little bit like covered up. I don't know, it's giving demure, don't you think? Like when your hands are a little bit covered. Yeah. With this one as well, I find that I prefer this orange one on the long side so I keep the holes like medium if that makes sense so that it covers up the gnash um, but with the other two with the lime green and the pink one I don't know I prefer them a little bit more flirty and a little bit shorter but that's just me with this dress style they actually have a version that doesn't have the cutouts so if you didn't want to be showing off too much thigh you could actually get that version although that version only had like a couple of colors maybe three colors and they came out with it in a white black and chocolate which I almost got the chocolate brown as well. I almost did just to kind of like, you know, close out the whole collection. But I really like the cutouts. For me, that's just part of the flirt and all the little details that go alongside the dress as well. So I was just like, there's no point. So I didn't actually get that version. And oh, also with this one, I decided to put the string at the back so that the neck is bare. And from the clip, you can see that I actually wore it with the sleeves up. And the sleeves down you can really just like play around with this dress to get the flirt that you want do you know what i mean you can just do flirt in so many different ways in these dresses so i absolutely love them honestly they came up with it in a hot pink you know i'm gonna get it or i would get it if they did if they do anyway let's try on the next one. Oh my gosh oh Girls, this one, this one was a hard one to get on. Um, I'm literally sweating. <laughs> That's the thing about some of these house of dresses. If you are by yourself and you struggle to get it on, you end up sweating and then the material gets like caught on your skin and you're really fighting with stuff. So what I would say is get dressed in one of these dresses with uh, the fan on, okay? So you can get, so you can cool down and you don't have to struggle as much. Sorry, I'm just looking at my neighbors because they must be looking up thinking what the hell is going on. Either way, this is the dress. Now, I actually really fell in love with this neckline. I'm all about necklines if you guys like follow my channel. I just love anything that's super interesting up top. And this, this thing, not sure what you call it, but I just love it. And then it has the bell sleeves as well. Also, let's not forget to mention this print because this print is just, I feel like it's iconic. They did release this dress in a few different colors, like from how popular I think this style was. This era of How to CB, loved it. So this was my birthday dress for the year that I got it and I celebrated my birthday that year wearing this dress and I absolutely love it. The thing about this is the back. It is a short, short dress. It's short, you guys. Shorter than the other ones, I think. So if your bum gets bigger, it's a wrap for you. It is, it's a wrap, or even your thighs. If somehow you start going to the gym, you do more squats, and that whole area expands as it should, this dress <laughs> is over for you. It is, but nevertheless, I still really do like it. Um, I tend to wear it when I want to go somewhere fancy, like a really really fancy dinner. Well, actually, I wore it once to a club, but it was a really fancy club. It was really fancy dancey because the print does a lot, so it's always going to be very shouty. You could probably wear this to like a wedding reception. You'd have to watch out for how short it was. I think it was 189. I think this was one of the ones that was actually on the almost hitting 200 pounds. But it was for my birthday and I didn't mind. I just adore it. It's giving romance. It will forever remind me of that birthday year, which I had a blast. Also, <laughs> in classic House of CV style, this is one of the ones that's really hard to do up by yourself at the back, especially because of this neck detailing, which requires like the three buttons at the back. I've only got one button on the moment so that's just gonna have to do but because I've got long hair on at the moment it doesn't really no one's gonna see that but just bear in mind bear in mind if you have this dress and you want to wear it up you probably know you probably know the struggle but yeah this dress gorgeous definitely keeping all right so here's the next dress now this particular one I don't know how long this is actually gonna be my wardrobe for um, for the time being, I am going to keep it, but I don't foresee it being around for like a really long time like the others that I've tried on. Just because I haven't really quite figured out when and where I would wear it. So essentially, I think I've worn it once um, 
and that's about it. I think this one was 159 pounds. So not quite 200, but still 159 pounds to only wear it once. Mm, doesn't really make sense. So this one I picked up in a size large because on the website, the note said that this has a small fit or there's basically no stretch to it whatsoever. So best to size large or size up. And that's exactly what I did. And it fits perfectly in a large. So if you were interested in a style like this, because it's the material for the most part, this material is very, not very stiff, but it's stiff. So it doesn't stretch basically, like they said. So yeah, you need to size up. But I went through this phase of being in love with purple. And I just wanted every shade of purple that I could get my hands on. Um, this is on the aubergine side of purple, but I just loved how royal it looked to me. And then also the material is this kind of like, it reminds me of curtains, but in the best way possible, like really fancy curtains is what it reminds me of. And I just loved how it kind of like, sits on the body and still looks very still looks formal sophisticated demure but also sexy because of this slit honey yes so the dress itself is nice i mean the quality is up there for sure it's also got this string detailing and the string is really long as well i think that was on purpose but i try and keep it quite short now the only thing is i'm not too sure about the <laughs> the this string detailing on the sleeves, I haven't quite gotten used to it. It's one of those string ones like the other dresses that I tried on. So basically you can play around with it and make it look different however you want. You can even take it down completely and just have the dress bandeau style if that's what you wanted to do. But I haven't quite figured out how I like the string detailing to look like for me. So that's always one thing that like I'm messing around with. But it's nice like this, this is fine. It's basically almost like a double a double strap if you can see so i feel like this dress for me it might just be for a very specific event that i haven't been able to pinpoint just yet but i love it so i don't want to get rid of it because i know there'll be that one day when i'm invited to that one thing and i know that it would have called for this dress and if i get rid of it then i won't have it so it's just one of those things but it is a lovely dress made really well it's not too short as well by the way guys it actually like covers covers all the stuff that it needs to so you don't have to worry about picking things up for the most part well <laughs> i mean i wouldn't suggest it but it's not as flirtatious as the other ones let's just say that so pretty dress gorgeous dress probably not worth the cost for wear because i haven't really worn it um as of yet anyway so we'll see maybe in the future i'll get more opportunities to wear it but that's this one okay okay listen 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 linda linda listen you know how sometimes you have an outfit in your wardrobe that you know it wasn't really meant for you it wasn't meant for you but you just don't know how to let go of it yeah that's this one so this is um this is the next dress and let me frame it like this i'm in love with what i imagine it could be what it is isn't that far off from what it could be but it's just not it <laughs> basically all right let's start with the good things i love the color i was in my purple era like i mentioned before i just wanted lots of purple and this gave me that in a whole dress and i just i just love the color first of all it's that it's like a pinky purple more on the purple side if you know you know um really love it it has long sleeves as well you know and i mentioned how there's something about long sleeves like to cover up your palms but the sleeves aren't really this is one of the few maybe the only house of cv dress that i have where i don't think it was made that well but it could also be something else so just bear with me on that front but yeah the sleeves don't look that great on me um good things right good things neckline this neckline is amazing. this is the reason why i bought this dress the reason i got this dress outside of the color was this neckline because oh my gosh look at it look at it it's giving all the cleavage that it needs to and it's just it's like a professional sexy you know it's like a professional dress it's not too short as you can see from the back you can definitely kind of bend down still won't recommend it but it's there and it's just you know it's professional but it's sexy professional but it's sexy the trouble for me is that this dress for sure was built for someone or designed for somebody with a slightly bigger bust. Not like the biggest bust, 
but slightly bigger. So this is a medium size. And if I size down to the small, maybe this would have fit, but I definitely would not have gotten it around my bum and my hips. This is actually those dresses or one of the dresses where I have to put it over my head to get it on rather than like from the bottom of my feet. It's not gonna go up my thighs and my bum. I have to put it over my head. So the, the fit is nice. I like how fitted it is on my body. Like it does what it needs to. Also with the back, it like zips up all the way up to the top of the neck like all the way up to the top so this is one of those ones where you need someone around to be able to help you i miraculously was able to do it today but i i don't know i was sweating and everything so i was surprised at myself that i actually ended up getting it to the top but it's not easy so you kind of need somebody around to help you with that but yeah it was this dress is built for someone with wider shoulders and a slightly bigger bust so that this space here can fill out this space here can fill out and then the sleeves can fall at the right place because you'll have the shoulders to fill it out so it's the details for me with this dress that's making me um and ah there's no point of even getting it tailored because there's nothing even if they take it in you it's not gonna it's not gonna really fix the sleeves and some of the other like bits and pieces so i don't know how long i'm gonna have this dress in my collection i don't know but i really do love it i really really do love it i just think it's just so professionally sexy it just is and also because of that i don't know when i'd wear it i imagined myself wearing this uh on a nice dinner date with some black tights i thought that was just gonna look so chic have yet to do that <laughs> haven't yet done that so i've only worn this once and it was to take pictures um, so I actually haven't even worn it outside. So this one was not worth the price point at this point in time because I haven't worn it properly and I don't know when I will. But I just... This keeps me around. <laughs> this area here keeps me around. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long it lasts in my wardrobe. If I decide that I don't want it around, I will be putting it on my Vinted. So I'll leave my Vinted account details down in the description section. But yeah, it's a lovely dress though, really nice, love it, great colour and everything, it fits the bomb and everything, really nice, but you win some, you lose some. dress is this one here, this is part of the spring edition, I think, I don't know what the official term is, but every springtime, House of CB has this print that they release, um, or a series of dresses that have this floral print on them, and they're super popular, they've been duped a few times, and I mean, you'll see them all over YT, I'm sure you guys know the ones that I'm talking about, if not, I will put a little clip or picture of the ones that I'm discussing. Anyway, what I'm trying to get at is, I, I was always interested in these dresses, but I just kind of felt like I wouldn't wear them. I thought they're so pretty, but I just kind of felt like it doesn't really work with how I like to dress. And then they released, released this version, which is kind of like a mini of that. I was all over it. Now, the only thing that I didn't like was the green floral effect. I kind of wanted them, I wanted it to have the pinky effect that the other ones do. But they only released this dress in this green and white and a red. So I had to just stick with what I could get. And I stayed with the green. Now, I say all that to say... I love this dress. I have worn, and I mean worn this dress so much. This is my frolicking dress. If I just want to go for a walk pretty much, I wear this and some slides or some Birkenstocks with my bag and I'm good to go. Obviously when the weather is good, not spring, not um, autumn, winter, spring, summer pretty much is when I wear this dress. Linen jacket on top or linen shirt on top, and light jacket. It just works. I style this so, in so many different ways it just works so i really really love this dress it's double lined as well so that it's not too see-through but depending on <laughs> whether i've been living good or not aka if i've filled out or lost weight this could be a tad on the tight side this is a medium i was not going to be able to get away with a small in this one and i think i think i could do a large i think i could the large would definitely give me extra length but i like I like the fit of it. Also the sleeves, or string, the string sleeves, I don't know what you call this, yeah, the straps, sorry, the straps are adjustable. So if you want them longer because you have a bigger bust, you can do that, etc, etc. And I like how I'm getting a little bit of cleavage, even though I don't have much boobage, you know what I mean? Really, really nice dress. This wasn't too hard to get 
um, on as well and not too hard to like pin up. I know I haven't done it straight to the top, but such is a House of CV dress. And that's, that's this one. This is a really lovely one. This one's staying in the collection. This is not going anywhere. I wear this too often for it to leave. I also actually need to take it to dry cleaners because it's due for a wash. But I love this. I do really love this. A little bit. Okay, we have the final dress from House of CB. The final dress that I have in my collection. This is it. I think this was called the, like, the Rosalina or something like that. I'm um, not too sure. Again, if any of these are still available, I'll link them so you guys can check them out. Now, one thing you'll find out about me is that I just don't have... Okay, no, let me rephrase that. The colourful pieces that I have are in dress format. <laughs> okay, I don't even have colourful pops of like handbags and things like that. Not really. Most of the colour that I have that's bright and boisterous in the dresses and i think house of cb does color very well so this yellow is a really pretty yellow i kind of don't really steer towards yellow if i'm honest i don't know why but when i saw this it just kind of gave me life it is that lemony kind of yellow as well um which i think does wonders for my skin tone if i'm honest so it's a really really pretty dress now when i got it i was on the fence about whether i was going to keep it or not because i was just kind of like do i really need it do i really need it but the detail, the detail won over for me. So first of all, these frilly bits at the bottom are just so cute. They make this dress so feminine. My favorite feature of this dress is this little faux slit, if you will. It's not even really a slit. It's just kind of like how they've cut the bottom to go up high across the thigh. Not too high, but just a little bit. And it gives you a very interesting shape here i just thought that was very unique and really fun it's also got a little bit of boning down the center of it so it gives the dress a nice structure which means you're kind of held in without it being a bodycon dress or feeling too tight and uncomfortable it's double lined as well so not see-through and yeah the boning is really nice the zip is actually quite easy easy to get up as well luckily this time around and I really love this cow neckline where it just kind of like the material droops in the center and the piece de resistance, the string detailing for the neck because you can play around with this in so many different ways. I love this dress, I really do. This one did feel pricey because it's a mini dress that was 159, 160, maybe even 169, I can't remember exactly. And I was like, I don't know if you should pay that much for a mini dress. But I do love it. Now, have I worn it much? No. But that's really on me because I haven't really given myself the opportunity to pack it so that I could wear it. You can style this up with a nice pair of heels, do the hair nicely, you know, boom, 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 accessories, bag. Or you can style it down with some flats, maybe even like a black leather jacket. Um, yeah, so this is a very versatile dress and I particularly love this yellow color. So big fan of this. This is not going anywhere, not at all. And even though I haven't actually gotten to wear it much, I do think it's worth the price tag. I'm just going to make sure that I, you know, give myself a chance to wear it more often and then it'll be worth the cost per wear. But this is such a cute dress. Oh my gosh, really, really love this. Right, so I've got two more dresses left. All the House of CV dresses are done got two more dresses from house no house of mistress rocks from mistress rocks and then we will be finished so let me go ahead and get this off and then i can get the final two on for you okay so i've got the first um <laughs> mistress rocks dress on i have to be so careful with this because every so often i can get a bit of a nip slip so this is one of the dresses that i wear with pasties just to make sure that nothing kind of sneaks out not that i have big boobs or anything but somehow it's just because of the cut of it is so close to where my nip is that every so often you know they want to say hi but i love this dress now first things first with mistress rocks i always size up so i'm a size large every time i've got a medium i regret it because i can fit a medium but i won't be able to eat or breathe so there's just no point so i typically size up and i get a large so this one's in a large um, this is my little black dress. So basically, you know how they say every girl needs a little black dress in her wardrobe to make her feel like the sexy vixen that she is, like that one go-to dress that you know will work when you need to look good. Yeah, this is it for me. I really love it. It's got some ribbing in the center, which gives this kind of like illusion of like an hourglass shape. I love that. 
it's mesh material so it's super comfortable it's also really stretchy as well so you've got some room to maneuver if you want to go dancing if you want to stretch you do that you know you can really live your life in this dress i really really enjoy it now this is one i've gotten a lot of wear out of one of the things that i really like about mistress rocks is their price point yeah because their price point is much less than their sister brand so this dress i think was 60 pounds worth it it would have been worth it at 120 pounds because it's also made really well so i find that similarities between mistress rocks and house of cb is that they've got really good quality clothes like they're made really 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 well mistress rocks just has a slightly lower price point for more trendier pieces so that's kind of the main difference between the two brands but i really love this particular dress so this isn't going anywhere it's not going anywhere it's not going anywhere i'm wearing it i'm keeping it it lives forever in my wardrobe it actually also almost always comes with me when i'm on holiday because it's an it's a no-brainer like if i need to go out last minute or i haven't planned for something but it's like let's go out and i don't have any other outfits this is going to work this is going to do the trick so love this black dress 100% worth it um, Actually also they have some really nice black dresses like little black dresses But every time I find a good one it's out of stock So I need to be on the website a little bit more But yeah, if you're interested in a very cute black dress That fits really well check out Mistress Drops Okie doke So as we are losing light we are wrapping up this video with this final Final dress and this is one from mistress rocks from many many moons ago and let me tell you why this one is such a unique dress at that first of all i got it in topshop when topshop was what well, topshop had their flagship store in oxford circus and it was the last one out on the hanger so i picked it up hoping it was at least a medium but it was a small and at the time I was with my cousin and she was like, you might as well just try it, just see what it's like because then at least you know the fit and you can go online and you can buy your right size. So I tried it on and to my surprise it actually fit. So this is a size small. And like I mentioned with Mistress Rocks, I usually get a large, okay, because it's just my life's better that way. But this is a small and it fits. Now I think the main reason that it fits is because the strap booby area was kind of that peekaboo moment to give you under boob. And because I have a small bust, I needed a size small but luckily it's stretchy material so it's still um, comfortable around the hips and the thighs and stuff because it is kind of stretchy it's also got really pretty silk pink lining which you won't be able to see obviously but it's just made very well and this was 60 pounds as well 60 59.99 and I just love this now this is a dress that I'll forever remember as my or the dress that I wore for New Year's in 2019 because it was that dim light setting and then the dress was just sparkling and it was just amazing it was such a vibe such a vibe like the dress does all the talking so I don't tend to over accessorize this dress because it's so sparkly already I just kind of like do my hair get some cute heels and I'm good to go so this one is that is still staying in my wardrobe I don't see myself getting rid of it. It is so short though. It is tiny. It is so, it's very short. But what else is new? <laughs> I mean, my dresses are just like that. They are all kind of short. I'm five foot three as well, just for reference. So this is what I mean by short. They actually come up really high, but I do have a fuller bottom half, which is what tends to bring things up a little bit more and make them shorter. So that's this dress. I love it. This one's not going anywhere for sure. Definitely have gotten, the cost per wear. I have traveled with this numerous times. I wore it once to um, Mexico, went to, to, it wasn't Tulum, was it? No, it was Cancun, we were in Cancun, it was for dinner. I mean, I've worn this several other times. It's just such a beautiful dress. Definitely gotten my cost per wear from it. And it still fits, it still fits girls, it still fits. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah, really love this dress. So with that, we are concluding this video. I am knackered. I cannot believe that I actually tried on all those dresses and there weren't that many, it wasn't like a hundred or anything but I'm quiet, I didn't know it was going to take that much out of me but shout out to you guys for sticking around until the end if you stuck around, you are a trooper okay, give yourself a pat on the back and I appreciate you but hopefully you've gotten some sort of enjoyment from this I was interested in just checking my checking on my clothes again so I thought I'd share it with you guys but hopefully you enjoyed it either way and if you did, subscribe to the channel, hit that button down below Give me a like as well if you like the video. Hopefully you're doing well wherever you are and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.